Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today, or actually this whole weekend, I am solo. Tom is abroad on my brother's stag do, which is just crazy. You might have seen recently that I went to my future sister, well, soon to be sister-in-law. Um, we went to Parma for her hen do. Uh, what feels like to me recording this, it feels like yesterday. I feel like I'm still catching up on sleep. And the boys are off. Um, oh gosh, she just burped in my face. The boys are off all right <laughs> to Marbella. So Tom has, uh, he left early this morning. We got up and set off to go to the airport. Thank you. What are you being so needy for? You've had your walks, you've had your dinner. You just want some cuddles. I dropped him off this morning at like 6 a.m. Flew there. He is, it's Friday today, so he is spending all day there today, all day tomorrow, and then I think he gets back, I think his flight's on Sunday around midday so i want to say he'll get back early afternoon um on sunday so yeah it's just the two of us i thought i would pick up the camera and vlog this weekend but also not only vlog this weekend the reason why i'm starting it today as well is i discovered this app on tiktok and i thought we could try it out together within this video and give it a bit of a test run a bit of a review we'll see how we go could be an absolute disaster or it could be my new best friend. So essentially the app is called Too, Too Good To Go. And what you do is you can download the app for free. You set your location within however many kilometers. I have mine set to 10, I think, but you can minimize that, you can make it bigger. And it will recommend loads of Too Good To Go bags from various places. You can get groceries from like Asda, Aldi, Morrison's. You can get bakery goods, baked goods. You can get full breakfast from hotels. You can get, um, yeah, like Starbucks, Costa, Pizza Express dinners, carveries from the pub. Like there's loads and the whole point is that the food is too good to go. So what they would be binning, you're essentially saving. So you're getting a bargain, but you don't know what you're getting. It's a bit of a surprise bag. So yeah, th there is an element of choice that you can have in terms of, for instance, if you are vegetarian, you can request, like if there's a vegetarian option, you rec can request that. And I think sometimes there's like one or two or three or five bags available and you simply reserve it and then you're allocated a time that you go and collect it. So I've done a couple for tonight and um, I've done a couple for tomorrow, but I might even see if there are any more that pop up tomorrow. But tonight I have a five o'clock slot at Starbucks and then any time for, I think that's five till 5.30. So I'll go to that one first. And that bag was four pounds. And then I ordered a groceries one from Morrison's that I can pick up any time between five and 9 p.m. So I'll just head straight there after I've been to the Starbucks. We'll see what we get for dinner tonight. I'm assuming it's probably gonna be more lunch style food. And the Morrison's one I think was, I'll have a look at the app, but I think it was three pounds, the one that I paid for that. Look at this boy. Look at these frizzy bits as well. We'll just ignore the fact that I thought my hair was like a nice messy pony, but it's just giving frizz at the minute. Um, yes, I'm giving you love and attention. What more do you want? I can't possibly give you any more attention, Mr. Needy. I'm just going to pop a couple of clips in here. Sorry if you can hear Barney drinking his water. Of the garden. We so sweet of him so kind of him but our neighbor who loves his gardening and grows a lot of herbs and vegetables and stuff from seed he um, we offered to pay for his fence because he's given us some of his vegetables in the past so his portion of the fencing we said oh we'll, we'll sort that and um he said oh well i'll get you some more herbs then and we said oh you don't have to but thank you and anyway he's spoiled us the entire run 
of the beds at the back, we now are set with herbs. I'll run through it in more detail once we actually get round to um, planting those. And then I had to leave this clip in because it just made us giggle. Barney going absolutely mental. It was the first time that he was allowed on the grass and the kind of graveled area that we've done in the corner of the garden. And let's just say, if you've got a dog, especially a big dog, you know what it's like when they go zoomies and it's just incontrollable. My goodness, <laughs> he went crazy. on the gravel. No zoomies on the gravel. That was very straightforward. Just headed on in. You show them the app and they give you the surprise bag. So I haven't opened it yet. It's sealed. I think I'm gonna head to get the uh, Morrison's groceries bag first, then head home and open it together. I don't know why this feels like it's Christmas. I mean, I have paid for them, but it's the surprise element that I quite like. It's good, I think, if you're not a fussy eater, like I am just not a fussy eater. I'm not vegetarian, pescatarian, intolerances. So for me, it's like, getting a bargain and saving food going to waste. So it's like a win-win. And the surprise makes it more fun. So hopefully it'll be worth it. So yeah, I'm gonna head to Morrison's now. There's some near the airport at like 3 a.m. So again, good for if you're flying, you've got an early morning flight and you're there anyway. Pick up a two pound order uh, from Starbucks or wherever. Um, but yeah, why is this so exciting? Let's head over to Morrison's, head back home and then unbox what we've got. Okay, change of plans. I've actually come home via a Greg's, which is also ready to pick up in just five minutes. So I've picked up my crate of food from Morrison's. That's in the boots. So I'll show you that with the Greg's bits when I get home. But I thought whilst I'm sat here waiting for five minutes, we could open the Starbucks one. So again, this one was four pounds. The other two were three. Um, it feels weighty. So I'm predicting a drink. Do they include drinks? I don't know. Are drinks included? Oh, okay. So we've got a bag of something. <laughs> it's literally like Christmas, okay. Oh, nice. God, this is literally already, I've got my money's worth. These are like three pounds something, I think. A little, is it a hazelnut and chocolate? Blondie, brownie, I think that'll be my dessert. I've also got in here a Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich. I've not actually tried the Beyond Meat. I'm not opposed to trying it. I've just never tried it. And then also we've got in here a Mexican style wrap. Again, never tried this before. So is this vegan as well? This is vegan as well. So this is soy pieces in a three chili smoked red pepper and spiced tomato sauce with a coconut oil alternative to mozzarella. And then we've also got a mini cheese and marmite ciabatta. Marmite is one of those things, isn't it? Love or hate. Whereas I'm slap bang in the middle with marmite. Sometimes I love it. In fact, I think I used to hate it and now I love it. That's why I feel like I'm in the middle, but let me know, are you a Marmite lover or not? And then we've got another wrap. This one is the all day breakfast wrap. This is, fr oh, it's new. Free range scrambled egg with signature barbecue baked beans, cheddar cheese, pork sausage, hickory smoked, streaky bacon, span spinach and tortilla wrap. So I feel like this is very savory based, but then this, honestly, has made it for me. I'm gonna give it a little taste test. Mmm. I think it's just like a, I think it's just hazelnut. Kind of tastes like Nutella, so. You can definitely see the hazelnut pieces on the top. Over the moon with that for four pounds. It also gives me a chance to 
try a few things that I wouldn't ordinarily necessarily pick up ordinarily necessarily um so that if I discover something new to order out myself when I'm next in Starbucks or wherever it is that I'm going try one of the savory ones what's the hell try the uh, what's this this is the all-day breakfast wrap we'll give this a try nice cold you know if I was in the shop I would have probably had it hot but it's actually really yum mm, I would definitely order this in future I'm gonna go in now because the car next to me is doing the exact same thing I can tell she's got a bag full of food and she's got someone else with her and they're having a look at what's included that's definitely a surprise bag maybe maybe more people know about this than I think I don't know it was news to me although having said that when I first found out about it a couple of days ago and I was going on the app to see the bags were selling out quickly so maybe yeah maybe people do know about this maybe I'm slow to the game but let's head on in and see what Greg's have to offer Okay, we are back with all of the goods. See what I mean? A crate full of food. Right, so I picked up the Greg's one and I don't know if you saw the clip, but there was loads of bags. And as soon as I walked in, someone was like, yeah, for the bags. Yeah, they were obviously closed up by that point. So they must just do it once they've closed at Greg's. But anyway, let's quickly whiz through the Morrison's bits because then I can pop the bits away in the fridge if they need to be. Uh, Exciting. This is so exciting. Some bread rolls. Who knew I'd be so excited over some bread rolls? I can just throw them in the freezer to keep them nice. Same with this bread. This is the Danish lighter white bread. Also got some bagels. Nice. These are the New York sesame bagels. Pea shoots. 12 eggs. Are any cracked? Yes, one, no, two are cracked. Two are cracked. I don't know if that's standard or if that was a mistake, but I mean, for £3 for all of this, we'll let them off. Mushrooms, broccoli, a little bag of apples, carrots, some peeled potatoes that are ready to cook. We've got three of those. Also got some coriander. This one looks a little wilted, I'm not going to lie. A little bit furry on one end, so I love these potato cakes. But these are out of date, so I don't know if they're. I think they must be allowed to sell you them out of date then, because there's a few things in here that are actually out of date. Also got two packets of these penguin cake bars. Yeah, these are definitely out of date. These are like a couple of weeks out of date, but they're best before. That must be where. You get them, yeah, if it says best before rather than used by. That's the Morrison's bits. I think Greg's has got me most excited, hoping for some sweet treats. I haven't even peeked inside, so let's find out. We've got in here, we've got a box of donuts. We have a triple chocolate donut, caramel custard donut, and pink jammy. And again, they'll be good until tomorrow. Yum. Donuts are fine, they just go a bit stale if they get old, don't they? But these are absolutely fine. We've also got in here a baguette. So again, I could have this for my lunch tomorrow. This is tuna and red pepper relish and mayo with salad and red onion. We've got a bag with yet another donut. So all of these for three pounds. I mean, the sandwich alone is more than that usually, but another single donut in there. And obviously all of the bags would have been different, so it's hit or miss. You can buy multiple bags. I kind of, for the purpose of this video, regret not buying a few bags so that you could see the variety. And back to it again tomorrow. Mm, those donuts, they are fresh. I'll probably give the other three, or in fact, I could put that single one back in there. Give those to the builders tomorrow because there is absolutely nothing wrong with them. I just had a look on the receipt. There was a receipt in the Starbucks bag. It was a hazelnut cream brookie. That's what it's called. So between a brownie and a cookie. Honestly, delicious. Would we'll definitely buy that again. All right, all the food and bits have been popped away. I am so close to taking off what remnants of makeup is left. 
putting my pajamas on and getting comfy and cozy for the night. Settling in, it's Friday night, what have we got? We've got Love Island, we've got Gogglebox. What else have we got? I finished The Fortune Hotel, finished Race Across the World, which both of which were good. Uh, what else am I watching at the moment? I don't know, maybe I need some new recommendations. Let me know any good TV recommendations. But before I do that, before I get comfy for the night, I have some Amazon parcels that arrived today, which I thought I would unbox. I wanted to open them anyway, so I'm just doing a recycle run, taking all the cardboard outside. Now that I've got that big Morrison's crate that needs to go out there. So, oh my goodness. I thought I might as well open these bits on camera. I can't even remember what I ordered. I just put in a big order. I actually had a voucher for Amazon. That was what spurred me on initially to put in an order. I thought I would pick up a load of new like wooden herb markers. I've got some that were like a lollipop stick shaped, but I think I prefer the look of these ones. It's easier to right across rather than down. So I saw these and I thought they would come in really handy in the kitchen for hot pots. We've got some, they are La Creuse silicon handles. Hoping that this might prevent a certain someone from ruining all the tea towels. To be able to hold it without burning your hands. We've got a box within a box. I wanted to try these for a while now. I think, yeah, I did buy actually some once as a gift for someone, because I think they make a great gift idea, especially for the bath lover. I decided to pick up these. I think they'll look lovely, just even sat on my bath tray with like my little wooden bath tray with my other products that I've got from like Way Neon. They are called the Chill Pills in Jasmine Rose. Oh, I didn't realize they were, oh. Didn't realize they were Jasmine Rose. These might remain sealed up as a gift for someone. A bit too floral for me. I've got another La Cruze item in here. I need to go and get some scissors really. I've picked up a set of three. So this I'm assuming is one of three that they've sent in separate parcels, but a set of three different Le Creuset, Le Creuset stoneware dishes. This is the meringue color that Le Creuset do, which is basically cream, but it's a very slight ombre into a kind of beige color. I've got three sets of these, so I'm hoping I like them. If not, I will just return them, but they reminded me of, I actually typed in Soho Home, um, Dalesford style cutlery, which this is very much like, oh, I they're quite big. Okay, so they're really rustic in terms of shape and the actual finish of them. If you can see, they're like a rustic, how do you even describe that? Set the scene with our Soho antique collection. Yeah, they're kind of antique looking. And because of that, they are resistant to any blemishes. They're dishwasher safe for ease of use, perfect for everyday use, and also for those special occasions. I picked this up for a dress that I have, like a sparkly dress that I got from Primark. You might have seen it in my last video, my Primark haul. Um, and I wanted a kind of tie waist. So I picked up this belt that comes in two different sizes. I went for the smallest one, but it's really um, flexible in terms of how how like loose you can do it. So that's why I went for the smallest one. You can. It's kind of like a glitzy. It's not my usual style. It's just something that I wanted. It was only cheap, but just something as a option on a sparkly dress to be able to cinch in without the the look of like a harsh black belt. I just wanted it to be quite subtle. So I'm hopefully thinking that that will blend in really nicely with that dress. And yeah, like I said, that was literally a matter of a couple of pounds. And then this popped up as a little recommendation. Oh no, there's a mark on the cover. That's annoying. The Dog Lover's Pocket Bible. Everything you need to know about your canine friend. And again, I just thought that looked really nice on the bookshelf. I think that would be lovely even if I just pop it to the side, but yeah, the Dog Lover's Bible. Oh, what have I just opened to? Golden Retriever, also known as Yellow Retriever, size large. As a watchdog, pathetic. 
too refined to bark at strangers. I don't believe that. Training, easy, yeah, life expectancy, 10 to 14 years, let's not talk about that. Standing 50 to 60 centimeters tall, the golden retriever has a soft, flat, or wavy coat in a shade of cream, sand, or amaretto. What color is Barney? Perfect nanny to young children, gets along famously with other pets and strangers, popular for a guide dog, keep an eye on your furniture because it's a dog that loves to chew. Not Barney. Well, as a puppy, a little bit, but with chew toys, it was fine. This dog is a swimming champion, 100% equality that served it well when it used to work as a water retriever on hunts. I also got this from Le Creuset. Again, it was another like pop-up recommendation when I bought the silicon handles. So I thought it would just come in really handy. We've got some seagrass trivets, but for the really hot plates, I thought this would come in handy. It's just a silicon cool tool, they call it. But yeah, just to be able to pop your hot plates on so we don't ruin the worktop. Last and final item, it's the third. And final, stoneware set. Can you see the subtle kind of ombre with the meringue color? Really, really pretty shade, so yeah. Nice brand new set of three that we'll pop in. We'll give them a wash first, pop in the kitchen. I'm gonna call it a night now. I think I'm going to pick you guys back up tomorrow when we're heading to our next destination for the two good, What's it called? Too good to be? Whatever it is. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Want to see it now. Sabrina and Barry's in the vid. <laughs> so Barney and I are in the car together this morning. We are headed out for a bit of a walk, and I thought I'd run through our too good to go. What was I calling it yesterday? Too good to bin? Too good to waste? <laughs> uh, itinerary for the day because I have booked in a couple of slots to try out. Let's have a look. We have breakfast is going to be from Pound Bakery. Then we've got lunch from Sushi Gourmet. And then we've got dinner from Costa Coffee. In between those appointments, we're going for a nice walk. I might do some work from a cafe today, I'm thinking. So that's why I thought I would bring Barney with me. Oh my gosh, look at this hair. It's because whenever I, my hair needs a wash, it starts. I could just pull out hair. <laughs> I have also brought my book with me. It's sunny, so I'm thinking we're just gonna spend the day out and about today, out of the house, and we'll be picking Tom up from the airport tomorrow. And of course, this one always comes with me, always. And it was quite nice actually when we came back from Palmer that Tom brought him to the airport to see me, because that's never happened before. I don't think I've, no, I've never been anywhere without Tom and Barney, like by myself, since having him. So that was a cute little reunion. Because, yeah, it's either Tom and I are going away together or it's Tom that's been away for, like, work or boys' trip or whatever. So, yeah, it was cute. So, we will take him to the airport tomorrow to pick him up. I think it's about two-ish that I need to get him. I have also just come out before we head on to the walk to John Lewis because I need to find some shoes for my bridesmaid's outfit. Obviously, hen do, stag do, marriage, my brother. <laughs> Um, I haven't, I'm a bridesmaid and I haven't got my shoes sorted yet. So the brief is a barely there black sandal heel. Um, like open toe, just something that is so wearable that I'll be able to wear time and time again. The only black ones that I've got are closed toe and it is summer wedding. Open toe I think will be far nicer. So I thought I would pop to John Lewis this morning. Dog friendly as well. So we'll take Barney with me and then have a little look and then go for a walk and then first stop is Pound Bakery. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday.
Well, that was a success. I have managed to secure the goods and find myself a pair of shoes. I also popped in to get a coffee because my Pound Bakery slot isn't until half 11 and I feel like I need something. I literally haven't had anything other than a bit of water today. So I'm holding off on the food, but I will get myself a coffee because I know the coffee's not included in the Pound Bakery. Although I did see on the app that it says if you show your Too Good To Go app order and get your goods you can also get a coffee or a tea for just a pound um but yeah because you still have to pay i thought well you know what whilst i'm here i'm gonna pop in and get a coffee i know that the upstairs cafe like a proper sat down cafe in john lewis i think it's called the place to eat that's not dog friendly but the Benugo cafe on exit is so i just popped on popped on popped in to get myself a decaf americano and then the shoes that i've gone for are perfect i did also get a couple of pairs of javianas for holiday and for summer in the uk i i am a bit of a repeat buyer with these shoes i think because i just wear them to death each summer i do like to get a fresh pair each year so this year i went for my standard that i always get the gold ones uh, which are 30 pounds and i get them in the six to seven but i did also pick up this style which i've not seen before it's a slightly more square toe slimmer fit need to sneeze honestly this <laughs> a fever this year <laughs> i was fine when i was on holiday but this morning especially i've woken up feeling really ugh. but i don't take an antihistamine every day maybe i should just incorporate it into my routine i did have one this morning though but anyway yeah i did pick up a pair of black ones so who knows with having two pairs this year they might be prolonged and last me a couple of years but i just know what i'm like i wear them to death they're a swimming pool beach shoe pottering around the garden i kind of wear these instead of my crops throughout summer so yeah i get my wear out of them anyway and then my heels that i went for are from june and they are just like i said perfect they're not too high they're nice and wearable i definitely wanted more than like a kitten heel because as much as i i hate wearing heels now i <laughs> just i'm not a heel wearer if i wear kitten heels or low right really low heels with a dress i do I don't love it as much as wearing just that slightly higher heel but like i said they're very wearable height that for me is like a perfect heel height for i won't go any taller than that now unless if it had a big platform uh so yeah these are in a seven i got them for the six were just a little snug around here and i have quite wide feet of the kind of thin and thick strap there and i almost feel like because if you do have wider feet a double cross is a bit more forgiving than just a single band so anyway these are my bridesmaid shoes i'm going to give him a good run around now we're going to go head to a field we've got an hour and 15 minutes before i need to go and pick up my order my breakfast which i am definitely going to be ready for by that point so hopefully fingers crossed we'll get some good food otherwise cheers my little morning americano Oh, it's gonna to be too hot you know when you just the hole and you know you're gonna burn yourself i'm just just leave it leave it as much as i like my drink piping hot i do tend to burn myself with um the takeaway cups on the little hole because i'm just too impatient <laughs> the goods we have in here yum sausage sandwich simple is what it is we've also got a bacon sandwich let me know which do you prefer sausage or bacon or both tom gets both he gets sausage and bacon i think i'm more bacon if it's streaky i would always go bacon if not, depends what mood I'm in. I think I'm in the mood for a bacon one today, but we've also got this. Oh, okay, so I can tell. Oh, really good. This is a 
they do well i've never been to pound bakery before so i didn't know but they do like muck muffins well obviously not muck muffin but a kind of muffin sandwich so in here we've got obviously on a muffin we've got what looks to be cheese egg and sausage delicious i think this would be my first choice this whole bag from pound bakery cost me two pound fifty so that's everything that's included but i think that's great value for money it's warm still as well mm. if i'm honest when it comes to muffin sandwiches like if i was to go to mcdonald's i kind of opt for without the egg or give him the egg because there's something about a perfectly round shaped egg or scrambled egg that just goes through me a little bit it tastes warm and fresh it doesn't even taste like it's been set out or that it needs to go i'll take the egg out and i'm actually going to finish this one don't really want to open the other two because i have i supposed a homeless man and i kind of want to go and offer him them sandwiches so then you can have some egg <laughs> Yeah, so crisis averted i thought i just lost my camera but we found it okay so i've just popped into sushi gourmet in sainsbury's got myself some soy sauce and napkins and they gave me these two so this is the most expensive one that i did at five pounds with it being sushi more expensive pretty standard this is really good value for money so i got given both of these of which the first one alone and it's definitely something that I would buy and have bought myself, is the chicken crunch roll, which is chicken sushi roll topped with spicy mayo, teriyaki sauce, and fried onions. That alone is £6.50 usually. And I also got given this. So there's loads here. This retails for £10. Again, used by today. So you get 12 pieces in here, mixed sushi and California rolls. You for £5. Great value for money. I think I'm going to take this home and eat it because I need some chopsticks. Mm. we're back in the car it's a few hours later now and it is tea time i've just popped into costa to grab my final meal during this little tryout of the app and i'll give you my review once we've opened this barney is in the back i popped him in there as well because we're going to go for a nice long walk i feel like i need to walk off all this food quite frankly um but let's see what is in the costa bag Okay, good. I was hoping for something sweet. And the first thing that I can see is actually one of my favourite cakes that they do. Like an entire slab of it. This is, well, I think it's my favourite one. No, I tell a lie. There's two slabs. Can you see that's actually two pieces of cake? This one's like orange and, well, they do like a raspberry. Oh my God, I can't believe I've got this. This is like my ideal order. Like a kind of, raspberry and orange cake i think they do unless they change it up slightly seasonally but anyway we've also got oh we had tuna yesterday from greg's didn't we we've got a tuna melt a cajun chicken wrap in here and lastly an all-day breakfast wrap we seem to get a few of these breakfast wraps maybe they're not that popular who knows um but the dates on these i think are all today yeah they're all today and i would say that that for three pounds because that one's also three pounds was it three pounds or three pounds fifty it might have been three pounds fifty actually that one let me just double check i can to give you i'm made up about that cake though even just a piece of cake is more than that usually yeah three pound fifty so overall i'm very impressed with this app i definitely think i'd use it again i can see how it could get addictive it's like the surprise element it's kind of like gambling isn't it uh but i would definitely i think be more selective with who i go for in terms of i think i would go for the likes of the costas the starbucks the cafe nero's that kind of thing i feel like i'm not given somewhere like pizza express a good go like an evening meal so maybe try that out one time there was a pizza express one for tonight but it's like about 10 p.m and i think pfft, I am not getting food at 10 p.m. That will be like before they close, just any food that's left over, I'm assuming. So if you eat that late, or if you're coming back from a night out, it might be quite a good idea, but a night out, coming in from a night out, most people go out at that time. I come in at that time. Anyway, I think overall it's good. 
The only thing that I felt a bit disappointed with was the Morrisons one, the groceries one. Maybe I would give it another go with another supermarket or another trial run with the groceries, but for me and my lifestyle with it being just me or maybe me and Tom, I don't think we would benefit from the crate of what was predominantly bread and also most of the stuff in the grocery stuff, the Morrisons one, it was actually not even close to the date, it was actually out of date. So I personally, a metaphobe, don't like eating food out of date. If it's on the date, then fine. But like I said, some of the grapes, they were already looking furry and I just thought it's not at the risk. So there were a few things that I managed to save, but otherwise I would say I would stick personally, my personal preference to the kind of cafes, that kind of thing. But anyway, we're going to go to have a nice walk now, get out in some sunshine. It's evening and it's 18 degrees. It's lovely. So I'm going to take this hoodie off and get some vitamin D, I think, on my arms. Get some sunshine. And then pick up Tom tomorrow from the airport. He's already requested his favourite bakery um, for me to go in the morning. I'm like, oh, more food. <laughs> he says, make sure you get me a pastry from my favourite bakery um, that I'll uh, bring with me to the airport pick him up around like after lunch time tomorrow yeah I'm excited to have him home good morning i am freshly washed showered went for a lovely little run this morning a little 5k i say little that's like a standard run for me it's not it's not little at all but yeah a 5k run with barney it's started a little bit so we managed to avoid that but I feel like today is going to be a cozy day at home I am only about an hour off having to go and pick Tom up from the airport and before I went I thought I would show you this morning's delivery from NAKD Naked have collaborated yet again with my bestie Lydia if you don't follow Lydia Tomlinson she is the ultimate style queen and you kind of met through doing this as a job initially and she is thriving she's done a couple of collabs with brands before and this collection I love there's so many pieces that I wanted to get my hands on but I thought I would show you a couple of the things that I did get and I'll leave um a link to her collection in the description box below where you can see more of the gorgeous pieces if things haven't sold out fingers crossed you'll still be able to get your hands on some but yeah so first things first i got this dress and this for me was the showstopper of the collection i was able to have a quick sneak peek of some of the bits before they were released and as soon as i saw that lydia had done this i was like yes that's going to show you my basket so it's this dress, hold on, let me sit back a little bit so you can see. Lydia did say to me to size down, so I have sized down to a Euro 36, I think. kind of one shouldered top. It's a beautiful fabric, I cannot wait to wear this on holiday. This during the day with flats will be beautiful, you could dress it up, but yeah, it's just a one shoulder maxi dress and it's just gorgeous. I also decided to get this set, um, well, they come as individuals, but a shorts and vest. I'm really loving the kind of waistcoat trend. I just, I actually have a couple now and really, really like them. So the first thing is this pair of shorts, nice and high-waisted, off-white linen blend shorts. And yeah, I love a high-waisted short. These look like a really nice length, not too long, but also not too short because I don't like my shorts too short and to get the matching vest to go with it they do also do this uh this kind of like waistcoat 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 vest in a gorgeous blue and i honestly was toying between the two i was giving meredith blake <laughs> i feel like i always refer to meredith blake when i see this kind of style but super high neck just makes a really timeless style and because like i said because it's that kind of like linen blend fabric again works perfectly with oh here we go boat neck is the term a little boat neck vest the dress is just the showstopper for me i know i'm gonna live in that it's just like garden parties i'm sure we're gonna be having people over if this weather picks up throughout the summer season with the football on in the garden our newly renovated garden which will be it's so close to being done now 
minus the kitchen but that can go in fairly quickly i think it's just a fire and we've already got the gosney uh oven for uh, in the garden it's just more the units if we have some units built that that might take however long a couple of weeks whatever but um apart from that the garden is so close to being finished there was a big well not a big delay well a fairly big delay we, we definitely thought we would have had it done by now the garden but we essentially are toying between whether or not to have an outbuilding for the outdoor kitchen. I am all for having it open, whereas Tom's thinking more pergola style structure. So what we've kind of compromised on is to have the foundations built, concrete laid, ready for if we wanted to in future build on it, but then see what, how we feel living with it as an outdoor kitchen first which I think is a good idea. So we're set and ready for the future, like future-proofing it, but at the same time, giving it a test run first as an outdoor kitchen with no cover. Um, so yeah, the reason for the delay was the concrete. We needed to have the concrete and the foundation dug. And that's all now done. Now we just need to book the gardener back in because obviously because of that delay, he's moved on to another job. So as soon as he's available to come back to lay the paving, which is here from Cornstone, and to uh, also put, put the gravel in, then we're ready to start getting some furniture for it and start styling it and actually using it, which is so exciting. But yeah, anyway, I am gonna head off to the airport in a second. I'm gonna get there early, I think, because picking him up from Terminal 2 and there's a nice big Starbucks right at the arrivals, like opposite the arrival section. So we'll take Barney, we'll go grab a coffee. I'll show you Barney's excited reunion to um, seeing Tom at the airport and then I will probably end the vlog here. So thank you for watching. Subscribe for more and I'll hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Gone under the knife, and I can feel.